time of loving happens so fast. Reporting live from California. <laughs> I had to dust my sweater off to get back into doing a crazy Chiquita video. Today we're talking summer flings. This might apply to you, it might not apply to you, it might apply to your friend Susan. And you're like, Susan needs to hear this. Send it to Susan. Say it with me now. Your worth, no, say it with me now. My worth, my worth doesn't change with the seasons. My worth doesn't change with the seasons. Summer flings are a real thing. You might be finishing up high school, you might be finishing up college, you might be a woman in the workplace, and summer comes along and everybody thinks that the changing of seasons is just a great time to use each other for this short amount of time because it's summertime and you want to just have a non-committal fling. That ain't it. This is for guys and girls. This is this happens in both worlds, but I'm just talking to the women today. We're gonna make this short and sweet for you or Susan. It is so important to understand that like summertime comes, and I talked about this on Instagram once, and a girl, um, she said, those guys who come out of the woodwork when summer comes, or she also said Christmas break, when summer comes, she says, I call them seasonal snakes. And I was like, well, that's a term I've never heard. That's a term I've never heard, seasonal snakes. She says, yes, these guys come out of the woodwork when summertime comes because they're looking for a summer fling and they wanna to get together and they're texting you late at night like, hey, baby, what are you doing? Or, hey, beautiful, you know, I saw that you're back in town. Like, you wanna to get together? You wanna to hang out? We have to, you have to remember that you are not some woman to be used for a summer to have this summer fling and then be tossed away like garbage when the fall comes. You are worth so much more than that. When we look at like people who come out of the woodwork, guys who are texting you late at night or, you know, hey, you wanna hang out? And, you know, instead of being open and clear, like I would love to take you on a date, maturity alert, <laughs> maturity alert, that many people get into summertime and boredom sets in. Boredom sets in, that guys or girls, again, I'm talking to the girls today, that guys might be getting bored and they might think like, well, you know, college is so fun and exciting and I'm home and I have nothing to do. So I'm just gonna see what Miranda's doing and I'm just gonna text her and you know, see what happens from there. And I want you to understand even more clearly that you are not an antidote to a guy's boredom. Hear me again when I say, you are not an antidote to a guy's boredom. You are a woman made in the image and likeness of God who deserves to be pursued for who you are, your intelligence, your soul, and your spirit, not to be used because a guy is bored. How do you tell the difference? Oh, hey, you wanna hang out? The location of that, is significant, right? Do you wanna just like come over and hang out on my couch? Not very mature. Can, do like, do you wanna meet up sometime? Do you wanna get lunch sometime? Can I take you on a date, right? You say, oh, like, do you wanna get together, right? If this is a friend of yours, great. Yes, go, sure. Look at the location of that, right? What kind of context is this? And what kind of language is he using to reel me into getting together with him. Maybe he is interested in you and he wants to take you on a date. Woo hoo. That's great. That's fine. Say yes if you want to, say no if you don't want to. But looking at the context by which he is like reeling you in, like is so important. The location of that, the timing of that, like have the clear eyes and mind to see. Because I think sometimes we go into summer, right? And I always like went into summer like, oh, it'd be like so fun to have a boyfriend in the summer and like have a guy to hang out with and spend time with. And there's all these couples like, you know, Instagramming from the beach, like, hey, we're, you know, doing this and doing that and whatever. And like sharing about their stuff. And you're like, I would love to have that. I would love to, for that to be part of my life. But I have to think with clear, with a clear mind and clear eyeballs to say like, to think like to clearly about a message or about you know him mysteriously snapchatting me or him asking to hang out to say what is this right we go back to that video where i say if you want to know like a guy's intentions ask him this one question what are your intentions <laughs> i'll link that video below what are your intentions like why do you want to hang out 
is a clear and valid question. Like, why do you want to spend time with me? Why do you want to get together? That puts the wall in his court to say why. It'll be pretty clear the answer to that question if you are thinking with a clear mind and clear eyes to say, okay, why does he want to get together with me? To like actually get to know me or to use me for a summer fling for this, this time this season and then to discard me when college starts up back again in the fall or high school or you know summer is over period am i just going to be a distant memory when we think with a clear mind and clear eyeballs and a clear heart we can see like what is actually happening rather than letting our feelings or our desires like cloud our vision we get to say like what is happening ask a guy what his intentions are in messaging us snapchatting us asking us out whatever it is and then you can go from there but when you do that you stand in your worth and you stand in what you deserve and you stand in the woman that you are to say my standards don't fly out the window when summer comes my standards are through and through in the spring in the summer in the fall and the winter and they're unchanging this is what i'm looking for this is what i deserve this is what i will not settle for less than capiche capiche just say no to seasonal snakes. Just say no to allowing yourself to be used, but just say no to using other people just for a short time in order to discard them. Say it again with me. My worth doesn't change with the seasons. The end. Amen. Hallelujah. That's all for today. Send this to Susan if she needs it. It's all out of love, Susan. I will tell you that much. Talk to you soon.